guys. Today we're going to continue learning about food safety and all the things that come along with that. So today we're going to read another story that comes from Melanie Makes a Meal. And this is about putting away the groceries and where you're supposed to put certain items because in order to be safe, you have to put items in a certain place. So Melanie is home with bags of groceries. She is ready to put the groceries away for later. So when you get home, you should definitely put your groceries away. You don't want to leave them out because food may become bad. Things that go in the freezer, what melts, stuff like that could happen. Melanie sorts the groceries. Food can be stored differently in the kitchen. So there's quite a few different places where you could store different foods. Let's see what Melanie does. So some food can be stored in a cabinet. Melanie places the box of breadcrumbs in the container of brown sugar in the cabinet. So there's lots of different foods. You can look from this picture that she has up there. She has other things in there like chips and flour and sugar, things like that, cereal, any like mixes for making waffles or pancakes, uh, your bread. Stuff like that can all be stored in what we usually call a pantry or most of us have like a cabinet where we put those types of food. Some food must be stored in the refrigerator. So Melanie places the packages of ground beef in the refrigerator. So there's lots of different things that need to go into the refrigerator. Usually any condiments that you open have to go in the refrigerator after they're open. So ranch, ketchup, mustard, those types of things, any salad dressings, meats are another big thing that would have to go into the refrigerator and you have to be careful about how you store them because you don't want them to drip juices onto other foods. Lots of vegetables go in the fridge, although not all of them. Milk, cheese, butter, all those things usually end up in your fridge, eggs. Some food must be stored in the freezer. So Melanie places the package of frozen vegetables in the freezer. So a good way to think about what probably can go in the freezer or what should go into the freezer is if you bought it in the freezer section at the store, it should go into the freezer at your house. So, you know, any frozen food, like a frozen pizza or frozen veggies, ice cream, any frozen meats, that you might buy can go back into the freezer. There's lots of things that belong in the freezer. Sometimes though, you can buy things that were refrigerated at the store that you might wanna freeze. Like for instance, I always buy a turkey burger because I don't like ground beef and it typically only comes in a three pound package at the store. I don't eat three pounds of meat in, for one meal. So usually I section it up into one pound packages and I freeze two of the packages to use at a later time. So that way the meat stays fresher and longer and I can use it later. Some food can be stored out on the counter or kitchen counter. Melanie leaves the onions and potatoes out on the counter. So there's quite a different type of things that you could leave out on the counter, including vegetables, some fruits, right? Typically we don't put apples in the fridge or bananas, avocados, like she did, onions and potatoes. Those are things that you leave on the counter or out in a cupboard somewhere at room temperature. So Melanie has put away all the groceries. She has everything she needs to cook her meal for dinner. And that is the end of the story. So here are some words that we read about in this story, if you want to look those over. I've also included with this lesson um, a picture sort for different food items and where they, they belong. So students can get that out now. First step would be to cut out all the, the pictures and then you can have your students sort them into whether they go in a pantry or a cabinet the freezer or the fridge. And then you'll want to talk about why those items go in those different places. I hope you learned a little bit today about food storage and how to store it safely. 
Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.